is Mike Genealist from OnlyOneMike.com. I've got my notes ready to go. We're talking about copywriting for beginners. In this video, you're going to learn exactly how to go from where you're at right now to speeding up the process to becoming a better copywriter. And you're also going to learn about the five different aspects that, that you need to develop to become a real ace copywriter okay let's dive in let's go I'm gonna assume that you've been writing copy for a little bit of time and you're a beginner but you want to get better right so we're gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna talk about how do you get better as a beginning copy writer so I come up with five areas that you can really really focus on so this is kind of the anatomy of what makes a good copywriter so I'm telling you these five things you can go out and, and craft yourself and create habits to make yourself more like these five things okay number one this is the big one you got to love writing and you got to well I will say this you have to really really like it maybe love is a little bit strong you have to really really like writing if you do then you're more apt to become a better copywriter what are some things that you can do to improve your writing you can actually start to hand copy, hand copy them, which will help imprint what you're saying or what's being said into your own mind. You, you want to also be able to, to, to read a lot more books. So from fiction to nonfiction, sort of like articles, politics, business, finance, health, all those things you want to, you, you want to be able to sort of read them and then in your own words, rewrite them and explain them because as a writer of copy, your main job is to take complex ideas and make them really, really simple. Really, really simple. By doing that, you'll get better because the reality is the better that you can write, the better you'll get as a copy writer. The, I mean, the, the name is in the word, right? Number two, big one is a copywriter loves to learn new things. This kind of goes with part one is you're gonna spend a lot of time doing research like I would almost say that being a good copywriter is like 90% doing research. Um, you make it thrown a, 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 a task on a Monday and it's due by Wednesday and it's in an industry or a field you've never even heard of before. I'm amazed how many industries there are, how many products there are, how many things exist that I never even knew existed before. And all of a sudden, bam, there's this whole new world that comes open to me. You have to enjoy that. Like you have to enjoy learning new things. So really open your mind up to the idea that just be open to experience, right? That things will pop up and you're going to go down a lot of rabbit holes and you never know what the thing is that's going to be that creative spark that's going to help you write your next sales piece. There's stuff that I've come up with that was from like industry A when I'm thinking about like industry J, right? But it's something that I read a long time ago, it just pops in my head, I'm like, oh yeah, that would be kind of cool, that's a good way to explain this. And you get that way because you love to learn, so you wanna make sure that you're always, always learning new things. It's very, very important when you write copy. Number three, and this is almost goes without saying, but a good copywriter is creative. Now here's the thing, you don't have to be creative in the sense of like you can draw or like sing or dance, you want to be creative in the way of connecting disparate ideas into new concepts. And one of the best ways to do this is you can read books about it. There's books like Creativity Inc. And what you want to do is you want to look for connections from different industries. Okay, so that's a big, big way to come across as like really smart and really creative is to apply something you learned in um, a previous research uh, study to your new piece okay and finding ways to explain things or coming up with like analogies coming up with big ideas which is just like this kind of like the ultimate hook to get people to read so give you a quick small example one time i had to write a product for drop shipping which is like the most boring thing that's just like an econ store where uh the, the customer buys the product and then the company ships it out on your behalf. You don't really have to touch anything. You actually get paid first, then you pay the company who ships it out on your behalf. Bada bing, bada boom, you're good to go. So maybe you get paid 10 bucks and you pay five bucks and you made five bucks, right? 
great, but that's like pretty much done by everyone, right? So I had to come up with like, what's a unique way, what's a unique thing to, to call that? And I ended up coming up with this concept because I had been reading uh, something about, uh, like in, back in the day there was an old system called like reverse funnels. And I thought that was a cool name way back then. And I thought, you know, this is like retail, you know, reverse retail. Yeah, reverse, because you get paid before you sell the product, right? So it's reverse retail. And instantly that gave me a whole hook, a whole brand, a whole angle, a whole sales piece, all tied around reverse retail, which is just like a really unique way of saying drop shipping. You know, so that's that's kind of what you have to do when you write copy, especially if you have like a boring uh, product, right? You gotta do something to make it seem fun. Number four, this is a big one that you wanna focus on if you're, if you're just getting started, a copywriter really understands sales, okay? At the end of the day, a good copywriter is a salesperson. Now, they're not selling like face-to-face -face like this, they're selling uh, one person to many people. And so, the better you get at understanding humans, and understanding sales, thinking about persuasion, thinking about benefits, thinking about problems that your product solves, that's really the core of writing copy. And all that comes, you find that by doing research. So your research isn't just completely random. You're researching to find pain points and, and to find like problems and, and, and to find stories that, that relate to people. Um, I would almost throw in becoming a good storyteller as like a bonus uh, uh, skill. You know, so read lots of books about how to tell stories, how to write stories, the pacing of stories. That's a very, very big thing. So anyway, sales. So you want to make sure that you understand sales and selling. If you need a job right now while you get better at this, I would go find a job in sales. It really will pay dividends when you write copy because you need to talk to people and finding out what makes them buy. Because people buy on emotion. They don't buy because logic. They'll pretend like they did. But in reality, there was an emotional appeal that attracted them to buy the product. Like no one needs a Rolex. No one needs a Porsche, right? They want those things to fulfill. Maybe it's an ego need or something that happened to them when they were a kid, but who, who knows what? But that's why we buy these things. We buy these things because they fill emotional needs. And that's true for pretty much everything. Number five, this kind of goes into that selling side, the flip side. A good copywriter is really like part psychologist. Now, I'm not a real psychologist, obviously, but you want to be start to study psychology um, because when, if you're going to sell to people, you got to understand people's minds. So there's things like needs and wants, hidden desires, like what's the desire behind what they're saying, you know? So think about like weight loss as an offer. Most people would just write, you know, hey, want to lose some weight? I'm doing a program, right? That is the service area. That's like a mate. That's like the top thing that's way up here. But why do they want to lose weight? Well, maybe they want to look better. Well, why do they want to look better? Well, maybe they want to attract a mate. Well, why do they want to attract a mate? Because they're tired of being alone. Why are they tired of being alone? Uh, because they've been alone their whole their whole life and they're and they're very very sad. Why are they sad? Because they're unfulfilled. Why are they unfulfilled? See what I'm saying? It just keeps going down, 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 down. So you get to that core desire, that core reason, and that core depends on the audience you're going after. But you really need to get deep and understand humans and, and how they think, how they act, what they're trying to do. Like those are the things that really make sales happen. Those take you from being like, okay, to being amazing. If you can really speak to people where they're at, those desires that they may not even know themselves, but when they hear it, it perks them up. And like, wow, that's, that's me, that's totally me. Those are the things that you need to focus on if you're a beginner or copywriter to really start getting better. Now, I have a ton more copywriting tips over on my blog. They're all free, onlyonemike.com. Or, you know, head over there and check it out. Also, please like, share, subscribe, do all those cool things. Hit the little bell so I can pop up more often to teach you cool stuff like this. Um, 
comment down below if you have questions or if I missed something or you know whatever would love to hear from you I try to reply to everyone that I can personally so thank you so much and hope you have yourself a wonderful day or night wherever you are peace out